Gordy, 30. Good length on that backhand from uh, Minter, uh, forcing the error. Keeping uh, Amanda Dingle pinned onto the baseline. You can see when that happens that uh, it's usually Ann Minter that wins the point. She's got the better control from the baseline. Like so. Yeah. Miss Minter. Miss Minter leads two games to one. Love 15. And Minter winning that vital opening point and with a lead of 2-1 in the second set, this could be an opportunity for her to force a break. 15 all. Fifteen thirty. will continuing with her uh, game plan in the second set anyway of attacking. Just over hitting that forehand. Well, she had the whole court. Tried to go back behind Minter. Fifteen forty. Thirty forty. Saves one break point with a strong serve. <laughs> oh, that ball kept very low. I think it was a double bounce. Yeah. I was called as a point for Ann Minter. I think it was a double bounce, which she... Deuce. Yes, game. the ball... Hey, deuce, game. Deuce. <laughs> it's Deuce. Well, Noel Kirkby is the point. giving the point to Ann Minter. Is deuce. Now he's uh, changed the, the ball bounce twice as it hit the service line, kept very low. Advantage, Mrs Dingwell. Again, Minta proving the uh, steadier in the baseline rallies. Advantage, Miss Minta. Dingle disappointed with herself for missing that forehand and just at our computer she's made 21 errors on the forehand and uh, that's partly the reason that she's losing this match it's usually okay. a very strong shot for her the fact that she's made 21 errors is an indication that uh, her best shot is letting her down today left first service She leads three games to one. Second set. So the first uh, break in the second set going with the defending champion, Ann Minter. Really playing very solidly from the baseline. Setting up a lot of points with her forehand. And on the other hand, the forehand of Amanda Dingle letting her down. Gee, what a superb backhand. 15, love. 
measure of the confidence of Ann Minter. Just hit an outright uh, backhand winner. Let's watch that again. Early preparation. Steps into the ball. Drives it down the line. She was right there. 30, love. Here it is again. Minter right at the net for the volley. And uh, another one. 40, love. <laughs> and uh, Amanda says something uncomplimentary. I think either about the wind or about her game or both. Careless, strong yeah. position now for Minter. Miss Minter, Miss Minter leads four games to one. Girls a bit quick on the changeover again, and we come Love back 15. with the first point. Just concluding, and not in favour of the server, Amanda Dingwall. Love 15, and down 1-4 in the second set, having already lost the first by six games to three. forehand winner and Amanda if she can't hold here and she's down love 30 is out of business Three break points for Minter to go to 5 1. Just on the line. 15 40. Five games to one. Just held that ball long enough and then guided it firmly down the line. This looks like it could be it. And Minter steps up to serve for the match. Love. Fifteen all.
Up 30. Double fault there from Ann. Just, just in the process of serving this match out. She's only served two. Fighting back. Recovered from 4 2 down in the third to win yesterday. But the task much harder today. She's down 5 1, set and 5 1. Got one break back. Okay. Mrs. Tingwell, Miss Minter leads five games to two. And uh, Dingwell serving, trailing 2-5, but good first serve there from her. Good shot there of Amanda's footwork or lack of it. She was very front onto the net there. Normally that would have been a fairly straightforward forehand for her. It's going to blow in. Yes, it has. 15 30. Thirty all. Forty thirty. Dingwell fighting all the way. Chance here to pull back to five three. And a lucky net cord yeah. helps her do just Mr. that. Dingwell. Miss Minter leads five games to three. Well, the first couple of points in this game now are vital. And Minter will no doubt be thinking that uh, at 5-1, she should have had the match wrapped up. Couldn't do it then. Dropped a serve. It's now 5-3. So it's starting to tighten up a bit. And if Amanda Dingwell can win these first couple of points... She could really put some pressure on and maybe get back into the set. And there's the first point to her from a double fault. Love 15. So, and Minter just starting to tighten up that a little bit. Thirty. Well, now this is interesting. Fifteen thirty. Thank you. 
Too much. 30 all. Both with the strong forehands, but Anne Minter with just a little bit more control on her. She hits it with a little bit of top spin. Yes, third time lucky. 30, 40. And Dingwall fighting all the way and now fine forehand has given her a chance to really right, get right back into the second set. A chance to hit to 5-4. under pressure there by Ann Minter. She didn't uh, waver there. Had the opportunity to force the winner and she went for it regardless of the fact that she was down break point. Out. Advantage, Mrs Dingwall. Rush that uh, attempted backhand passing shot though really Straightened up quickly on it. Pulled it wide. I think picking the wrong side there as we watch this again in replay. I think she should have come in on the backhand. She's elected to go to the forehand. That's Minter's best shot. And she passed her. Well, what a bounce. That was just... Perfect lob. Advantage, Miss Minter. The man Minter landing so close to the bounce, uh, baseline, then bouncing up so high that uh, Amanda Dingle just couldn't control it. So match point for Ann Minter. <laughs> and the sly. A wry grin there from uh, Amanda Dingwell as she really cracks that forehand and saves the match point. Boy, she's a fighter in here and good chip down the line off that drop shot. It's a dangerous shot, the drop shot. If you don't execute it perfectly, you pretty much lose the point. Yes, set the point up well. Juice. Just kept getting the ball deeper and deeper into the backhand corner of Dingwell till Anda finally dropped one short. And Anne then was able to put away the forehand. Mrs. Dingwall. Fourth break back opportunity for Amanda Dingwall. 
he really is a great fighter. Well, a strange shot there. He's trying to slide that ball down the line. Well. And break point number five. Oh. And this time she's got it. Okay. Miss well. This meant to lead five games to four. And Amanda Dingwall returning to the court. It's been a great fight back from her. 5-1 down to 5-4. Her own service to follow, so she could tie up this second set. And Minter, I think the point that started her downfall, as far as this comeback was concerned, was she led 5-1, 30-15, and double faulted on that point. 15, love. Seems to have become a bit more tentative since then. Fifteen all. Fifteen thirty. I just when it looked like Amanda Dingle was really going to get back into this match. Two unforced errors, a forehand and a double fault. Perhaps she's started to think about the fact that she has a chance. Fifteen forty. And match point. So a tentative game this one from Amanda, whereas from five one she was all out aggression. It's the third match point that Amanda has saved. Miss Minter. And she save a fourth. No, she can't. Okay. And that's the championship to Anne Minter. Matt. Matt. Miss Minter. Two sets to love. Six three, six four. Thank you, Lionsman. Thank you, ball boy. Spy. And Minter to successfully defend her Australian Hardcore Championships. Got off to a shaky start early in the tournament. She was down 4-1 in the third set in her first round match. It got better and better as the tournament progressed. And straight sets victory today over Amanda Dingwell, her opponent in last year's final. And apart from the start where she was down 2-love, 
she was really uh, never in any doubt of winning her second successive title. Well, I think all is in readiness for the presentation of the trophies. Let's cross courtside to Gary Wilkinson. So the battle of the uh, forehands resolves itself in favour of Anne Minter over Amanda Dingwall for the second year running, in fact, in the Australian Hardcourt Championship final. It's now my pleasure to introduce to you the President of the New South Wales Tennis Association, Mr Jeff Pollard. Thanks, Gary. Distinguished guests and ladies and gentlemen, I think the Lawn Tennis Association of Australia and all supporters of Australian tennis would be pleased to see an, an Australian title.